Facial Army, your key to daily success. You know, let's buy all this cool shit and be a baller like it used to be when I was younger. Yep, yep. Now it's, I wanted my guys, I want my team, I want my people to succeed. Yep. And I know what we can create on the on the back end yep. and so i don't want to sell that out yeah know? we both want you to stack a bunch of money away yeah we both want you to have great stuff like this and live all that but we both are just literally talking off camera saying what endures is when you shift from that stuff to yes. wanting to serve other people because that that like never and burns out and you know what's funny about that too is i felt i found that when you switch your focus to other people, your income goes up anyway. Big time. Yeah. Right. It actually takes some pressure off you, yeah. oddly, right? Yeah. It's like, I, I don't know how to explain it, but it takes pressure off you. Go back a little bit in the beginning. I just want to talk about this because we were talking about, I didn't even notice it, but yeah. you pointed to your face to me and said, hey, yeah. I've had stuff happen, man. Like, yeah. not all this was just business grind. Because yeah. a lot of you that are watching this too, your business isn't where you'd like it to be, maybe, or your life isn't. Like, right. stuff happens outside of business that can distract this too, right? There's, there's issues with your family, there's health, there's, you know, all kinds of stuff that happens outside your business too. So, yeah. Tell them, how'd you get these scars? What so, happened? Uh, so, when I was in college, like we said, we had to work other jobs while we, and we were also going to school, by the way, I don't yeah. did all this, but uh, I was walking home from one of my jobs, and uh, I was walking home with a girl that that, uh, that I was good friends with, and uh, <laughs> I ended up getting stabbed, is the long story, uh, the, the short story of it. Uh, I got an altercation, this dude, she was, uh, she was Mexican, and... This guy was calling her some racial slurs, and I'm a young testosterone-filled dude. You know, I'm not going to deal with that. Right. It's not my personality to deal with that kind of shit anyway. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm, I'm an athlete like you, and you know yep. how athletes are. Like, yep. dude, we're gonna, it's gonna get physical. Yep, it's gonna be about to be physical. And, yeah. And uh, we got in an argument, and I turned my back, and when I turned my back, he stabbed me, and he stabbed me here, and he stabbed me here, here, and in my back, and I had 160 stitches in my face. Uh, still, no feeling in this side of my face at all. Uh, um, the last thing I remember on the way to the hospital was uh, the, the EMT on the radio saying, I don't know how to stop the bleeding. Oh my God. And I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, all right, I'm going to die for sure. Because like, it was like what you see in the movie, like blood was squirting out. Like, and uh, yeah, so, so basically, uh, That's incredible. yeah, so, so that was like, that was the easy part of it. The hard part of it was what happened after that. Uh, my face was very swollen. It was very deformed. Uh, it looks really good now because it's been 15 years since it happened. Um, but I worked retail and I had people coming in to the retail store every day and they, and they would do one of two things. They would either look at the floor when they talked to me because they didn't want to stare at my face or they would say, dude, what happened to your fucking face? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, uh, you know, I, I'm getting this all the time. And really, honestly, I would have people, rather people say that to me than look at the floor. Mm. Like, you know how like, <clears throat> yes. You know, when you see someone who's got a handicap yeah. or they have a disability, yeah. our tendency is to not want to stare, so we overcompensate by looking away. You're right. Don't do that because it makes people feel really shitty. Yeah. Okay. And I know that from experience. And, mm. um, mm. but anyway, I went through very bad depression. You know, my face was messed up. I went. I was a young man. You know, I thought my life was over. I thought my bu my business wasn't succeeding. Mm. Uh, I started thinking about like, you know, no woman's gonna ever want to date me. Yeah. I'm, you know, my life is over type of stuff. And. Um, you know, I built it into this big deal. I became very depressed and uh, to a level of, of suicidal on, on a regular basis. Uh, and and and, it, and I, I actually uh, was able to come out of that in, a, in, a, in, a, in about 10 minutes time. Uh, I was walking through a, a grocery store and I was pushing my cart down the aisle and there was a, I came to the end of the aisle and I hit another cart. And I looked over at uh, the person who ran in the cart and I looked at him and I couldn't tell if it was a man or a woman because they were so badly burned. Like their hands, their face, completely unrecognizable of a, of a man or a woman. And I looked up and it was a woman, by the way, and she looked at me and she looked right at my face. And she goes, man, what the fuck happened to your face? <laughs> and, and dude, I like start dying laughing. Like, cause she knows what I've been through and yeah. I know what she's been through. And it turns out what happened was she had been uh, in a plane crash and her whole family had been killed in a plane crash and she was the only person to survive. And uh, we, sat, we sat there and we talked for like 10, 15 minutes, um, you know, about what had happened to her and what had happened to me. And we had a good laugh about it. We, we like laughed at other people, like how they were so dumb for like looking at the floor, like all the stuff we just talked about. Yeah. And it, and it changed my perspective immediately. I went from wow. feeling bad, I went from being depressed, I went from having all these struggles to saying, you know what this is not bad like this is not even a, this is this is this is a good thing and so i chose wow. 
I chose to start seeing it as something that would, would, would eventually teach me something. And it turns out um, it ended up being really good for business because back then when Chris and I would go to trade shows, nobody knew who we were, all right? Okay. After I got stabbed and my face was swollen, I had scars all over it, I would talk to people and they would remember me. <laughs> oh my yeah, so, oh my so I would go to these trade shows and people would be like, uh, they'd be like, oh, hey, you know, those guys from Supplement Superstore. And they'd be like, no, we don't know those. You know, no, you know Andy, they do with the scars on his face. No way. Yeah, and so what happened was people started remembering us yeah. because of it. Yeah, and now they know Andy the multimillionaire, but then it was Andy the dude with yeah, the scars but, on his face. But you know what? When you try so hard to stand out, and, you, and it's important in business to yeah. stand out and be memorable, yeah. I was blessed with an opportunity to make me naturally memorable. Wow. And so it ended up serving me, and that's how I see it now. I see yeah. it, I actually see it as one of the best things that ever happened to me. I believe that, too. Like, it, By the way, that's probably my favorite story I've ever had on the show. It's right there. That's probably well, my favorite story. And let me tell you the reason why. First off, it's not the events that happened to us, it's the meaning we attach to the events, right? Because events happen to everybody, and so eventually what you did, eventually, yeah. is you attached it, a new meaning it, to it, the event. It yeah, served you. It, it happened for you, not to you.